Even after a stunning 2022 season where Kirk had the best year of his career, 13 wins, won the division, his uh, future was certainly up in the air as the Vikings and Kirk. They didn't uh, slap on the one-year Band-Aid extension. They didn't uh, do a long-term deal, even though reportedly Cousins was open for taking a discount on a multi-year extension. So the future of the soon-to-be 35-year-old quarterback and his loose skin and all bowels was certainly uncertain. And were the Vikings going to keep Kirk? Were they going to replace him? Uh, what was going to happen this offseason. And Quasey and Kevin O'Connell, as well as ownership, they're, they're very much hedging in their language. Talk about, we're very excited for Kirk Cousins in 2023. And, not, and keeping all options open uh, in free agency and the draft. But now uh, the Vikings came away from free agency and the draft with only fifth-round pick Jaron Hall out of BYU. Kirk is like, bow God, that's my music. That's right, because the Vikings did not acquire Lamar Jackson. They did not trade for Trey Lance. They did not draft Will Levis at 23 or make a move for uh, one of the top three quarterbacks or – they did not take Hendon Hooker. They did not do this. They do not do that. And uh, Bill Barnwell of ESPN lists Kirk Cousins uh, amongst his winners of the 2023 NFL Draft, uh, players most impacted by rookies. And this is what he wrote about Kirk. Cousins uh, is yet another one of the quarterbacks who might have been concerned about his short and long-term future with the organization. Uh, the longtime Viking starter is a free agent after the 2023 season, and the regime that originally signed him is no longer in the building. General Manager Kwesi Adolfo Mensa added a year to his contract last offseason to create cap space. In March, though, the team did not did a restructure with void years uh, only to open up space. Uh, trade with the 49ers didn't make financial sense for either side, uh, for the other side. Mm. Uh, so Cousins was always going to be on the 2023 roster. Oh, wasn't Barnwell the one constructing all these trades to the Niners? Okay. Okay. Revisionist history. If the Vikings had traded for Trey Lance or used their first-round pick on a quarterback, though, there was a decent chance Cousins wouldn't finish uh, the season as a starter. Minnesota made it through the most of the weekend without adding real competition for him before eventually add, using a fifth-round pick on 25-year-old Jaron Hall. How come they always bring up the age? who doesn't project to be an NFL starter. Again, rude. Uh, as a result, Cousins should be assured of the start uh, of starting through the entirety of the 2023 season. If he can help the Vikings stave off what is widely expected to be a decline driven by the record in one-score games. <laughs> Again, the, the one-score game record as well as, hey, bring a point differential, man. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, he might even be the guy in 2024 and beyond. So that remains to be seen. But, I mean, Kirk... Not only did they not draft a quarterback high, not only did they not acquire Trey Lance or make a move for Lamar Jackson, but adding Jordan Addison to this offense, as well as guys like Josh Oliver, you're resetting guys like C.J. Hamm is going to be a larger part of the offense. I mean, the, the Vikings offense is going to be legit. They're, they're going to be able to run the ball, hopefully have continuity up front on uh, with the offensive line, as well as adding Addison to the mix with Jefferson and T.J. and K.J. Woo. So you can see why... Kirk Cousins is super happy right now. So right now, it is the uh, it is the summer of Kirk Cousins. And frankly, I wouldn't be shocked if they revisit extension talks. Now, maybe it's not the multi-year extension, but maybe they slap on the one-year Band-Aid and then we just do this entire song and dance again uh, next offseason. But Kirk, I mean, Kirk earned it. I mean, Kirk uh, played extremely well last year uh, in the first season under Kevin O'Connell. Uh, he's going to have the same uh, play caller uh, for the first time since 2016 in multiple years. Uh, so I think that he is going to be uh, really reveling the chance to star in this offense uh, going forward. And I think Kirk is going to put that ish on quite a bit uh, in 2023. For your thoughts on thoughts, ESPN's Bill Barnwell lists Kirk Cousins as one of the big winners from the 2023 NFL Draft. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. So Subscribe for daily Vikings takes once worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.